actually, I right. got to get something straight about Dave. I actually like the guy. He doesn't like me. I know. But, but he's he's entertaining. He, what a goofball. He's To me, he, he entertains me. When I see him, I go, look at this guy. Now look at him. Look what he's doing. It's entertainment. You know. I, first of all, when I hear the new album, Eddie would have benefited because you guys can still write songs. You can still sing at top level at your age. You've still got the voice. These could have all been Van Halen songs in one way or another, yeah. right? I haven't spoke to him for 100 years, but to any of the guys at Van Halen, since 2004, 2004 the tour the ended. Tour, we, yeah. I walked off stage and went that way. Eddie went that way. Mike went that way. Al followed Eddie. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And it's we crazy. haven't seen him since. You know? and, and the crazy thing is, even on the Sam and Dave tour, Sammy said to Dave, hey, Dave, let's go out and sing a song together. How fun would that be? Yeah. He couldn't do it. He wouldn't allow himself to do it. I don't get it. Does anyone yeah. get it, Michael? <laughs> no. They were our guys were pounding on his dressing room door backstage, going, "Come on, Dave! Come on, Dave! Nothing. Oh. Dave, nothing." Why do you think? I, because I have no do idea. Do you think you're a better singer? And maybe it was like not he didn't want to be on stage with you and be shown up. I've sang with better singers than me many times, and it's like yeah. It, it, it's 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 not about being better. Like I said, Dave could be, he could go out there and entertain the audience a little bit better than I can. I mean, if he wanted to steal the show, if we were standing, he could have stole the show. And, and you wouldn't mind it. I would have sang. He could have danced. You know, it would have been a great whatever <laughs> oh, we do. Such a, you have such a great fucking attitude. <laughs> <laughs> he could have danced around while you sang. Yeah, he could have stole <laughs> the show. Yeah, he's done those karate moves. But what a wonderful moment it would have been to say all of this for is the fans. Nonsense. No, for the fans, absolutely. Don't you think too? There's the idea that. And this still blows my mind that Sammy Hagar came into that existing band and the odds are a billion to one that it'll work. Dave was a big presence in that band. There's big. no question. Yeah. Yeah. 5150 comes out and now you got to go on tour and you got all these fans who are like, hey, David Lee Roth, blah, blah, blah. And you how do you power through that? Where do you find the fucking inspiration? To oh, power no, no. That? We walked out on stage in the barricade. The first show we did, we were, I was nervous. I said, what are they going to think? Because we were only played the 5150 record and we played Jump when I brought somebody else up to sing, and we played One Way to Rock My Song. And the rest was just 50, 150, and jam. So we walked out on stage, the barricade came down before we played a note. And uh, we looked at each other and went, shit, let's go. And it was like that <laughs> from then on out. Look, when a guy leaves a band like Dave, those fans, didn't, they didn't come see us anymore. But I had a huge fan base of my own, and it, it, they came together. They got along. It was good. Uh, it was fun. I got to tell you, that was the greatest time in, in, in my musical career. 